Hello everyone, welcome to the Kukuli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so today I'm having a quick look at these. I've borrowed them from work uh, to try them out because I'm thinking of buying a pair because it seems like a really good idea. Uh, these are what I believe the Finns are calling uh, Suki Kengad, which is uh, ski shoes. Uh, yeah, those of you who've read Mors Kulhansky's books will be uh, familiar with the uh, Roycroft snowshoe, which often gets called the ski shoe too. These are a little bit more expensive. <laughs> Yeah, but they're uh, really short, really fat, uh, great for getting around bushes and things. So, I mean, there's some advantages and disadvantages to skis and snowshoes. And some conditions, snowshoes work better. And ideally, you want, like, well, different snowshoes or different skis for different conditions. And... Uh, yeah, uh, the ski's been in, in existence now for thousands of years. I believe the oldest one was found in a bog in Norway uh, and it was dated to being 6,000 years old, if I remember rightly. But, uh, and I kind of think that the original skis were probably more like this. Uh, I remember seeing skis of a similar length and fatness on a documentary in Siberia. There was a guy who was making them. Uh, but modern skiing it involves using tracks and uh, yeah for for going off track in Finland the traditional thing is the uh, is the Finnish forest ski in this part of the world which is extremely long uh, as if you're getting around lots of bushes and rocks and things like that I I really think something shorter is is better. And also, yeah, for the downhills and things, especially as if you're not very good at skiing. I'm not very good at skiing. Uh, but for the downhills, short skis work really quite nicely. And yeah, I, I saw these and thought about the idea. I thought about that. I, I mean, I like, you might have seen in some of my other videos that I ski with a pair of old uh, Salomons that are, uh, really quite short these are a similar length but they're much much fatter and i ski off trail uh, and i ski through the forest so i thought for me something like this seems pretty much perfect this is what they look like short and extremely fat so it should spread the weight quite nicely you've got a section of skin on the inside there to give a bit of grip going up the hills so you're not going to get so much speed on them on uh, when you've got nice tracks but uh, I'm not really very interested in nice tracks little raven on them there yeah let's see if I can actually get them on my feet So that tightens them. Aha. There we go. Looks to be a lot easier to tighten them than loosen them. But that's it. That's it. So that clip there tightens them. And this one you push in the opposite direction. And it just pulls through, in theory. Okay, so that's my theory. <laughs> Is that how they work? Aha, yes, there we go. There we go, now I've sussed it. Now I've sussed it. Right, easy. Easy once you know how.
At the moment I'm skiing along a trail which I drove with a snowmobile about four days ago and these <laughs> these things are incredibly dull on this terrain uh, because there's a nice solid track underneath me as if I was wearing backcountry skis I could really get a bit of glide and get some speed going here even though it has been snowing but in the forest, in the forest these things are great So am I going to get myself a pair of these? Well, the 400 euros, uh, which for, they're worth that, I think. Uh, are they worth that to me? Would I be better getting an old pair of forest skis for next to nothing? Something I'm going to have to think about. But, yeah, I did find myself wanting a proper pair of skis at times to get a little bit more glide. But... I never found myself wanting snowshoes. Uh, tell a lie, I did once. There was a really steep bit uh, between some trees and it was quite quite awkward. But yeah, it's somewhere in between the two. Definitely closer to uh, being a snowshoe to, to my mind in, in what you can do with them. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, leave us a comment. And I'll see you all again soon for another Cook Daily Bushcraft video. Bye for now.